Just did some Tai Chi. Now we're gonna go to the Vivid Center. It's November 19th and they're doing a Thanksgiving meal pretty early. Um, it's like four days before Thanksgiving. It's uh, Monday the 19th. Um, we just took care of some medication over here after Tai Chi was over under this tree. <laughs> And um, now we're gonna head over to Vivint. And uh, on the way there, I just wanna show you something over here at the library. This, this area back behind the library, sorry, I don't have my mic hooked up right now. This area back behind the library is a place where a lot of spice heads and users now frequent since Operation Rio Grande moved them all off of the block. So now this is one of the spots where everybody has kind of spread to. Um, they set up their tents and stuff back here on the, on the uh, I think it's called the easement. Um, because you're basically legally allowed to camp or allowed to sleep on that easement, which is like four feet um, in from the road. Because it's like public property or something. I'm not really sure how all that works. I don't sleep on that, but a lot of people do. But if they're here too late in the day, the cops come like every day and make them break down their camps. They have like 10 minutes to get all this stuff together and move it or the cops throw it away. Um, a truck will come with a trailer on it and they'll get all the shopping carts, they'll get all the stuff and they'll just throw it away. Wolf had uh, his whole shopping cart taken while he went inside the library to check his email. They took his shopping cart, which was his entire business, his nonprofit tie-dye selling business they took his cart and threw all the stuff away it was some bull crap uh they're supposed to dump the cart and leave all the stuff and then if nobody comes and gets it within a certain amount of time throw it away he was only inside checking his email for a short period of time they knew who he was they know his cart they know him he wears full tie dye they know him they could have went in the library and got him instead of throwing his cart away, but they threw the cart away. But, yeah, they throw these, these tear these, these camps down, and uh, if you don't get your stuff out of here fast enough, they'll throw, they'll, uh, throw it away. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, it was way worse. There was stuff all up and down this, this uh, sidewalk here. Now there's only a couple camps, but yeah, the cops come and bust it up frequently. <laughs> they posted notices on these trees um, since the people had been there more than 14 days uh, legally they were considered residents so they actually had to post first they did 30 day uh, eviction notice then after 27 days went by, they did a three day eviction notice. And then 24 hours before they said tomorrow morning, if you're not out of here, all your stuff will be thrown away. They put those notices all on these trees right along here. <laughs> uh, one of my um, homeless, a homeless couple I know, um, that goes to the Tai Chi group, collected all the flyers. They have one of each of the eviction notices they have them saved, it's pretty funny. I'll see if I can get a hold of them and show them to you. I came this way uh, just to show you that. Wolf went the other way because he doesn't walk down this sidewalk because he doesn't want to smell spice. He's allergic to spice and he's allergic to spice and he doesn't even walk down this sidewalk because it's so bad. That 7 Eleven across the street over there is also a really bad spice spot, spice zone. So Wolf won't even come around here. I hate it too. I hate the smell, but I can deal with it, you know, at least just to walk through. It doesn't trigger me or tempt me or anything because I hate spice. I have no desire to be retarded. Thank you. Uh, me, him, and a couple of the other guys are going to Vivint for the meal, for the Thanksgiving meal. So I'll, uh, I'll record that for you and I'll... Let's see what a Thanksgiving meal is like for a homeless person. We're almost there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, they're close. 
Whoa, that's the entrance to that place. That's crazy. Never been back here. What's well, taking me on like some crazy shortcut through this alleyway to get to Vivint? There's the convention center where I thought the cannabis conference was going to be at up until the day before when I found out that it was all the way in like uh, West Jordan or something. Vivint Smart Home Arena, we've made it. This is the Vivint Smart Home Arena. This is where the Utah Jazz play. Uh, I've never been to a game here. I don't actually think I've ever been inside of here before. This may be my first time going inside. Yeah, it will be. So. Find Wolf. Wolf's already way up there in the line. And wait through this line for a little while. Alright guys, I made it to the uh, Vivint Smart Home Arena with no problems. Got some B-roll for you. Uh, I'm about to wait in line. I have to first wait in a line to check my bag in. Um, Wolf just did it. He said they don't really like go through your bag, but they just check your bag in behind a table over there. I'll show you that in a second. Then I gotta go in the doors, and they say there's not a very long line inside, but we'll find out. Usually things like this is a really long line. I don't know if they're gonna let me take my phone in the Osmo inside. Um, I know homeless people aren't gonna want me reporting them getting their food, so maybe I'll just take my phone and hold it and just uh, report myself and then just give you a pan, or pan around the room and let you see you know, the setup and what they're serving and stuff. Um, but that's that, so let's go in here and get some Thanksgiving uh, dinner, I guess. Thanksgiving, early Thanksgiving dinner. So this is definitely my first time inside the Vivint uh, Smart Home Arena, and it's pretty cool in here. Check it out. There's the little gift shop right there where I won't be buying anything today. I probably could have got away with bringing the microphone and the uh, tripod in here, but I just put it all away in my bag and left it outside. Gotta get in line and head in and get some food now. So I guess they're giving away all kinds of stuff here today, not just food, because right here they got shoes. 
boxes and boxes of shoes. But look at the line just for the shoes. Like that's just for shoes. I just want the food. I got all the gear I need. So where's the food line start? I guess this long, 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 long line. I'm gonna go check the front just to make sure this is even the food line. Oh, it is, I can see it. All right, well, we'll be there in maybe 40 minutes. All right, so after I get this food, my plan for the day is at five o'clock, I'm gonna go to, at five o'clock, I'm gonna go to Place For Your Stuff storage. So I'll go to Place For Your Stuff. I've talked about it a lot, but never actually gone there. So I'll go there today, uh, get some new clothes, uh, finally. I got lots of hoodies, lots of jackets, lots of clothes, and it's just a matter of getting to my storage to be able to put it on. So I'll get there today when they're open from five to seven, and that's that. It ended up only being about 15 minute line. I forgot to check the time beforehand, uh, but I'm here, I'm at the food. So let's check it out. There's the plate, loaded up. Get some gravy. Get a little more gravy on the taters. Thank you. It's gonna be. There you go. It's gonna go quick. So, put the order in now. We'll put the order in now. It's probably gonna go quick. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Oh, cranberries. Throw the cranberries on top of the. Yeah, that's a real Thanksgiving Thanksgiving meal right there. Small plate for a lot of food. <laughs> that's the one flaw. They need a little. Ooh, there's a dessert table over here too. Oh, this is where I want to hang out. Oh. <laughs> This is the spot right here. Very high lighting. Can I drop the lighting down? I need to lower the lighting a little bit. A whole nother dessert table. Two whole dessert tables. There's, there's the crowd. Quite a big turnout. All right, I'm gonna turn this off and eat. I'm hoping Wolf and them save me a seat somewhere. But I haven't found him yet. Gonna go eat over here in this empty area because I can't find wolf. Oh wow. Look at all this empty seating. See all these extra tables and chairs? For uh I guess if a lot more people showed up. Alright, I don't know if you can hear me over this music because I don't have my microphone, but I got my plate of food. say a quick prayer before I eat it and then I'm gonna mow down. Amen. Now let's eat. Part. Breaking open the roll, throw some turkey in there, some of the veggies, some of the taters, make yourself a little Thanksgiving salmon slider. This is really good food. Good variety. 
it is good quality. It doesn't taste like jail food like some of the food that's served at the shelter and stuff tastes like. It tastes like it's good quality food. I just asked where the drinks are and there's a huge drink station like 10 feet away from me. Coffee too. about this music but here's the dessert I got three dessert plates this is supposedly cheesecake this is some sort of lemon uh, cake funnel cake type thing and this looks like tiramisu I'm not sure if it is but if it is I hope it's good it is tiramisu and it's awesome tiramisu giving out food to the homeless. She's always there. This is her favorite song. She always sings it. I don't know who's telling her that she's good. Cool. I want my picture with him. I 
found a bear and I got a picture with him. I'll throw it on Instagram real quick. Thanks everybody. See what else they got around here to give a hi. She had a nice smile. So they got shoes. Along with food. Clothes. That's a whole lot of clothes in there. There's probably going to be a hygiene section over here. Oh no, there's a whole other section of food over here. Wow. Those girls from AISU said that they were going to be here today. Wow, there's a whole other food line and a whole other section to get food over here. That's probably why I couldn't find Wolf. He's probably over on this side. Whole another two dessert tables. Maybe they have pumpkin pie. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Pumpkin pie? Do we have pumpkin pie? No, we got some weird square things. There's a whole other section. Wow. So the people that I thought there was here, there's double. I should have came over here so I didn't have to listen to that lady singing. Look at what I just found. Where? Oh, no, I found the last one. Haha, <laughs> it's right there. Boom. Got my pumpkin pie. I got the last piece of pumpkin pie. Yeah, buddy. If you're uh, like me and you take the last piece of pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving, regardless of if everybody's had a piece or not, then let me get a hashtag, take the last piece. There was a time when I would go join them, but not anymore. All right, I made it to place for your stuff, and now I'll show you my storage. No dime bag. But this is the place. Oh. This is what was in my storage. Lots of clothes. A pair of almost brand new forces. Books. Lots of books. Where's my light at? Hold on. These are my books. Well, you can't really see it in there because they're under that blanket. Also, a pair of bolt cutters. It's all books down there. So what I'm here to do specifically is get some different hoodies and jackets. I got that jacket and those two hoodies. But this suitcase is filled with my clothes. And there's a lot in there. A lot of stuff that's never been worn. All got the tags on it. Pants, lots of pants. Here's a little peek at my stees on my my stilo when I get a place, when I get my van, the clothes I'm gonna be rocking. These are all my clothes, these all have tags on them. Cookie shirts, DGK all day. Popular demand. Pants, flannels. I got everything in here, for real. I'm gonna IG this ish. And at the bottom of this pile, this camera bag. Because it has my Canon 
Rebel T5 inside of it. And I get paid tonight, and I might go buy a cheap laptop so I can start editing with that camera. Or I might not. But I need this jacket, this hoodie, this hoodie. Need new work clothes, new socks. No, I'm just gonna buy new socks. I need some special socks. My feet are messed up. But yeah, that's my storage. Place for your stuff. If you're homeless, come check it out. All right, that's that. And just like that, I'm done with storage. Done with place for your stuff and I'm out of here. It's crazy how early it gets dark now. It's only like six o'clock and it's like pitch black outside. It's seven o'clock, seven o'clock, sorry. But it's so dark outside. It was dark. Two hours ago, an hour and a half ago, it was dark. It's crazy. Check out the block at night. Welcome to the road home at night. The new road home after Operation Rio Grande. It would be a much more interesting sight if this was before Operation Rio Grande. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end this vlog on that note after my little trip to place for your stuff. Uh, I got a couple more things to do. I'm getting paid tonight. I got to get my Planet Fitness membership caught up. I got a little behind on that, so um, I'm going to get that caught up. And then I might head over there and take a shower. I won't be bringing you along on that trip with me. So that's probably it. Remember, if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. The more likes I get, the more the more love I feel from you guys. Thank you. And um, if you wanna if you wanna join the Cool Kids Club, then make sure you hit subscribe in red. And last but not least, if you wanna know every time that I put more videos like this out, then hit that little bell. Hit your bell on. Hit the bell, and it'll ding whenever I'm doing something. But that's that, your boy Doc from the block, out.